Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at the old city Leviathan. A first person exploration walkabout sort of game, similar to Dear Esther, with uh, a setting that I find a lot more interesting than Dear Esther's very sparse Hebridean Isles, as we are a sewer dwelling isolationist emerging into the surface world and exploring a essentially post apocalyptic city after the world has begun to move on. So let's just get in here and really see what this is like. Alright, our protagonist player character might be a little crazy, so we might hallucinate. Liberate me. Hello again. I guess it's time for us to chat, as is our routine. Not to imply that this is unwanted. In fact, I think I'm growing rather fond of you. <laughs> hmm. You and I have shared a grand nothingness, and I feel as though your belly is a suitable embassy amidst the unknown above. Alright, so just from reading that and listening to that, it seems that there is a almost a civilization of sewer-dwelling peoples. Who are referred to as minotaurs, I guess. Because they live in the labyrinth of the sewers, I assume. A lot of this game, I think, is just uh, sort of making connections based on what you see, rather than the game telling you what it's about. Alright, so we've been drinking dirty water, and that's why we're a little crazy now, I guess. And the person we're talking to is Leviathan, which I guess is our imaginary persona. And the reason that we, uh, you know, talk to nobody. Which makes a bit more sense, I guess, than just hearing random voices in your head that are talking to each other while you explore. Uh, left click zooms, right click doesn't do anything. Alright, here's our, I guess this is our impression of what the, uh, the sewers are from our knowledge of our explorations, and those are where other minotaurs live. So let's, uh, let's head out from our little corner of the world. I'm assuming something causes us to go up to the surface. Oop. Oop. That's a... That's probably not supposed to be there. This blob of shadow, so we're just gonna pretend we didn't see anything. After all, you can't really rely on what you see. I mean, it seems like the surface is right there. I don't know why we'd uh, avoid it so thoroughly. There's a lot of this Minotaur iconography that I'm guessing they didn't make, so maybe they just adapted it and that's why they decided to call themselves Minotaurs. More likely than this apocalyptic society being familiar with the story of Theseus and the Minotaur. I 
Oh, that's dirt. I was like, what is this square of material inside this crate? Do you want me here? Uh, I know the question must seem odd, if not insulting, but I really must ask. You seem distant as of late. Alright, I can't just jump down there to follow the water, so I guess I'll have to find another path. I will say from the screenshots, the sort of art style of this reminds me a little of Dishonored in this sort of city design, but maybe that's just because there was a giant dead whale in one of the screenshots. This sort of uh, futuristic mixed with old-timey industrial look. It's not quite steampunk. I mean, we haven't really seen anything to verify that, but something about the look of this even, just the sort of art style, reminds me of that. Are these the barrels of dirty water that give us seeing that we have painted eyes on? Okay. Didn't have to actually climb down the ladder. Admittedly, and please do not take offense. Your inerts sometimes frighten me. Even in the complete safety of a belly unto myself, there are places like this that I do not want to know. So is the Leviathan the sewer itself? Also, these chemlites can't have been here that long. They only last for a couple of hours at most. Hmm. We could go up, or we could go down. Let's go up, I guess. So I'm assuming that a lot of what we are kind of looking for in this game is exploring to find more dialogue, because there isn't really a lot to Dear Esther and the games in its sort of genre, I guess? The walkabout genre? I can't crouch and look in this thing. Ah, okay, I can open it though. Solomon's note unlocked. Alright, so these are notes from... Oh god, that is a lot of text. Were I playing this uh, on my own, I would probably read through all of that, but we're going to skip over it, because, uh, again, since this isn't really a story-driven game per se... I don't think it's really that Would important. you be angry with me if I removed his work? I'm not exactly a fan. Uh, before I assumed this portion of your stomach, he existed as a parasite, eating away at your flesh before making his escape. I'm told that he refused to accept the sustenance you haul in from the outside. Some say he went insane after attempting to live off of the unclean water. <sighs> Poor fool. Alright, so it sounds like this Solomon character escaped the sewers, and I'm assuming we'll find his notes throughout the game as we also escape the sewers. So this guy doesn't really believe in the Leviathan. Alright, it sounds like this was before everything fell apart, when they had just moved to the sewers. Now 
And this guy feels like he's in a prison being taken care of by the sewer system. Of I assume it's some sort of uh, autom automation going on that keeps this thing going. So, we are... I guess we're in water treatment or something. We want to hit the subway access. I guess we want to get out of here. Which we do, even though our character doesn't... Like, these appear to be electric, you know, fluorescent tube lights, but where is the power for them coming from? Alright, I wasn't expecting the elevator to actually function. Uh, Shall I ascend to your lungs and feel your breath? I think that would be lovely. <laughs> okay, I'm on one. I guess I want to go... Oh, screen's fading out. I guess it'll pick for me. Simple little animals, aren't they? Filthy, no doubt, but can you really blame them? I suppose that if I were to hate them for their nature, I would be just as filthy. It's an odd position. To hate a rat for being a rat is to make oneself a rat all the same. Alright, this does seem a bit more modern than I guess I expected. Just looking at the various things lying around. Aerosol cans, crowbar, fire alarms, electric lights. There's a lot of eyes going around here. You know, I said feel your breath, so perhaps the Leviathan is just the entire city? That's a dead end, so this way. I feel like we're in some sort of building now instead of just the uh, sewers. But maybe this is the treatment plant? What's down there? No one ever told me. Uh, not that I know anyone. Apparently, after the guild took this area from the Order, they felt the need to block off the tunnel leading to an access point dumping into the unclean water. Everyone knows not to drink it, so why block the path? And I'm guessing we don't have the level of interactivity to actually open that door. You know, we can't pick up that crowbar we saw and yank all those boards off.
I think opening things is about as much as we can do. Opening unbarred doors. Hmm. Greek alphabet. Maybe there is more to this Minotaur thing. So some religious belief of a great eye. Did we not come from here? I don't remember these stairs. Maybe I just walked right past them. I feel like I keep bypassing a lot of paths without even really having the option to go back. Again, if I were playing this alone, I'd probably try to explore every possible path before leaving an area. Alright, I guess we're on the other side of that barred door. What is this? And I guess un unlike other games in this where, you know, you're just hearing voices in your head, I guess our character is actually just saying all of these things out loud. What are you protecting me from? I must see it. I must see what they've done. I must see the extent of Nineveh's fruits, and I must see what they've done to you. Tarshish is nothing but a distant glimmer on the banks of Void. There is nowhere now but you, and you must let me explore your guts like the parasitic worm I am! Let me see the decay! Let me see the stack Leviathan! Open these doors! Open them now! What have they done? Is this where our food supply comes from? I've had enough. I'm sorry. You were right. I'm not ready. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's a horrible cycle, this existence. I reach out to connect with them. Again and again I try, only to discover that nothing has changed. So I return home. Progression is lost, and I restart the cycle. I just want to sail.
All right, we are back on the fourth floor. Is this a different day? Does time have any meaning in the depths of the earth? It's funny how they all hoard the same supplies. All of it from the old city, and all of it wasted. Would you grant me another ascent? I've explored your innards. Let me scale your back. It's always struck me as odd that evil is never self-aware. I mean, the most horrendous actions, these conglomerate endeavors of warring cabals, are caused by the best intentions. So all that's left is this grand suspicion of idiocy. Good intentions are moot under the control of a ludicrously stupid idea. But my contribution is hardly an appropriate contrast. I would like to argue that my contribution is non-existent, and thus superior to their negative impact. But the truth is, we're all infinitely terrible for not contributing at all, be it through neutrality or detriment. I will say the voice acting for our character is pretty good, which uh, is a good point if you're going to be hearing it throughout the entire thing. And thus we have emerged into the old city. One of my favorite sort of uh, post-apocalyptic styles is just this abandoned, overgrown look, which uh, was really great in Last of Us. And even uh, the Will Smith release of I Am Legend, the whole overgrown New York. I just like that, that sort of nature reclaiming human civilization look. It does seem that we're fairly free to explore these areas, going in and out. I mean, there seems to be some sort of religious warring organizations in this post-decay world. Anyhow, I think that's a pretty good look at the old city Leviathan. Uh, you pretty much get, I think by this point, what kind of game this is. It's a very mellow non-gamey sort of walk around and explore things. It's an experience, I think, more than a proper video game. Which is not to say that it's detrimental in being that, but it's a very specific sort of experience if, uh... You kind of have to be looking for it to enjoy it. You know? But I'm not really going to argue whether this is a game game or this doesn't qualify as a game because it doesn't have X amount of interactivity. It's it's a game where you walk around and listen to things. Let's just leave it at that. 
Anyhow, I've been Shadefire. This is the Old City Leviathan. It's about $15 available on Steam. And uh, it seems alright. Again, I'm not sure how I feel about these sorts of games. Um, I do like Perhaps exploring. I should kill oh, myself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a rather funny thought, actually. The standard reason for suicide entails depression. A sad portrait of a weak mind. But my desire for that death is, a is pretty far hilarious more amount of text utilitarian. On Anyhow, I feel as I've though I am useless, the old city Leviathan. And, I, and I gather that and, this uh, feeling is similar to what the others have felt. I'll walk again with you I do not some suppose that any of them felt any particular brand of gloom Until before then, the end. You folks take Just care. Just a single shade of grey. At any rate, I prefer this situation to its emotional alternative.